Welcome back. All right, career video time. We are going to talk about Kyle Opozo. The K is silent. I'm going to apologize for all the times I accidentally pronounce it. So he was a number seven pick by the New York Islanders back in 2006. And Opozo's story is one of being with teams that don't frequent the playoffs, really. Very few playoff games in his career, but it has a good ending. So 2007-2008 makes his debut in the NHL, nine games. Two goals, three assists, five points. Not too bad for a nine-game stint to start things off. 08-09 as a rookie, 65 games, 18 goals, 21 assists, 39 points. So good numbers. Uh, he is an example, though, of how we can't always extrapolate that if a player has totals that are going up, it means they're going to keep going up. Here's an example. So 2009-2010, he plays 80 games, 19 goals, 33 assists, 52 points. Again, trajectories going up. So does he hit 60 points? He does not. Not for a while yet. So 2010-2011, 38 games played, so he misses more than half the season. 5 goals, 15 assists, 20 points. 2011-2012, 79 games played. Now he gets his first 20-goal season. He has 24 goals, 21 assists for 45 points. 2012-2013, still with the New York Islanders, 48 games, 4 goals, 20 assists, for 24 points and he finally plays in the playoffs again the islanders don't make the playoffs often plays six games for the islanders three goals one assist four points 2013 2014 is his best offensive season in the national hockey league 71 games 27 goals 42 assists 69 points so he's arrived excellent numbers really really strong 2014 2015 plays 80 games with the islanders 18 goals 33 assists 51 points in the playoffs, seven games, two goals, one assist, three points. So <clears throat> the problem the Islanders have is they don't win in the first round. That changes in 2016. So 2015-2016, 79 games, 22 goals, 42 assists, 64 points. In the playoffs, 11 games, two goals, six assists, eight points. So 11 games means the Islanders get out of the first round because they played Florida in the first round that year. And neither team had won a round of playoffs for a very long time. So the Islanders got the win there. But rather than Opozo being part of a, a build that the team was going to do, um, or had probably aspired to build themselves up a little bit after that 2016 run, uh, July the 1st of 2016, he is one of many contracts signed on July the 1st of 2016, which people would look back on as head scratchers. There's Louis Erickson, Milan Lucic, and Kyle Opozo. Of the three contracts, I think Opozo is probably aged the best, and he was surprised that he was able to finish out that contract considering how that first season went 2016-2017 his first year in buffalo 65 games 19 goals 26 assists 45 points to his credit he does go to the all-star game uh, and that's after signing that seven-year 42 million dollar contract so part of the issue with Ocpozo's time in buffalo is the amount of money that cap hit is way too high for the production he provides in buffalo in march of 2017 he ends up in the hospital, so he doesn't finish the season because he had a severe concussion, uh, neurological issues, he ends up in the hospital. 2017-2018, uh, he comes back, he plays almost the full season, 76 games, 15 goals, 29 assists, 44 points. The production's fine, it's just because he's making $6 million a year, there are some who don't like the contract. 2018-2019, uh, 78 games, 14 goals, 15 assists, 29 points. So Buffalo is nowhere near a playoff spot. Opozo's numbers aren't where you want them to be. And I believe this is right around where now Jack Eichel's being viewed as being the problem in Buffalo. So 2019-2020 plays 52 games, 9 goals, 10 assists, 19 points. And so with the drop in his offense, he takes on a leadership role. When he left Buffalo, he was very clear that he loved Buffalo and that he did his best to train these kids and teach these kids uh, that are coming up in the lineup and so we'll see if he ends up back in a leadership role with the Buffalo organization at some point uh, 2020 2021 35 games played two goals 11 assists 13 points so he misses some time that season as well and the production not fantastic right he does bounce back 2021 2022 uh, four, 74 games played 21 goals 24 assists 45 points so in the time of that contract that's his first 20 goal season. Now he would have reached at least 20 goals if he'd played out the rest of the 2016-2017 season, but it's still his only 20 goal season as a Sabre. 
2022-2023, he's named team captain. Now, the other day I was doing a video and some schmo said that the last captain for Buffalo was Jack Eichel. No idea who that schmo was. But <clears throat> Kyle Opozo was named the captain before the 2022-2023 season. Plays 75 games, 11 goals, 17 assists, 28 points. At no point in time did the Sabres buy out that contract. They just play it right out. I mean, on the one side, you've got a Buffalo team that's not under any pressure to dump money, but they're also not very good, so that's kind of how they don't end up needing to dump off some money. So, Kyle, 2023-2024, 61 games played in Buffalo, 12 goals, 10 assists, 22 points. And trade deadline, March the 8th, he gets traded to Florida. He is traded for Cali Sialin, as well as a conditional 2024 seventh round draft pick. Uh, with Florida, he was... Used a, a lot less than he was in Buffalo, but that leadership is still there. So he plays six games in Florida for the regular season that year. Does not record a point. Then he plays 17 games in the playoffs, including six in that exciting Stanley Cup final against the Edmonton Oilers. He only recorded two assists, but his game wasn't about the offense. And he wins the Stanley Cup. So after all these years of being on mediocre teams, first with the Islanders and then with the Sabres, he goes to Florida and wins the Stanley Cup. It's a Hollywood finish. Um, and he talked throughout his career as well about mental health issues he had struggled with in his hockey career, which, big thumbs up for that. Destigmatizing that is really important. He ends up playing 1,051 games in the NHL. Uh, 242 goals, 372 assists, 614 points. In the playoffs, he had 7 goals, 10 assists for 17 points in 41 games. Only 41 playoff games and 1,051 regular season games. I would think that because he played in the playoffs so little and he knew this was likely to be his last season, probably spurred him on a little bit in the playoffs and uh, gave him a little bit more oomph to his game because he would have known that was his last chance and his best chance going to Florida, a team that was clearly a contender at the deadline, um, and it worked out pretty well for him. So all the best to Kyle Opozo in retirement. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding the player. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event you've not done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support as always. I will talk to you again soon.